Hey, I'm Daniel Ricardo. The guys at Infinity Red Bull Racing have entrusted me with all these beautiful, bespoke little works of art. I hope I don't do too much damage here. Feels good. Can't wait to see what this new car's capable of. Things have changed a lot since 2013. The technical regulations are very different for this season. Let's compare the new and the old car. I've got the new one. Sebastian's driving his winning car from last year. The philosophy behind the new rule changes was to make the car safer and more fuel efficient. Here are the main changes. New nose, front wing, rear wing, engine, gearbox, an enhanced energy recovery system and much more. The amount of fuel used in the race has been restricted. We now have 30% less in the tank. How can you save that much and still keep running? First of all, we get one extra gear, eight instead of seven. The most revolutionary change is the new fuel efficient engine. Much higher pressure fuel injection for more complete and efficient fuel burning, two cylinders less, V6 instead of V8. There's a ref limit of 15,000 RPM, but the turbo is back. And with the turbo, the turbo sound. The energy recovery system has been enhanced. The new ERS now has two motor generator units. The new one is powered by the flow of hot exhaust gases. The other one still uses brake energy from the rear wheels. It's a lot more powerful now. The battery pack now stores 10 times the amount of energy. That's enough for 33 seconds per lap rather than 6.6 .6 as before. And a double boost of 160 horsepower. Therefore, more torque, which means it's tougher to control getting on the power. So we can expect lots more battles. The outside and the aerodynamics have also changed quite a lot. Our feet move down because the nose comes down for safety reasons. The front wing is narrower, downforce is reduced significantly, the blown diffuser is gone, as well as the beam wing, the rear has to be supported. The main flap is flatter and opens up further. DRS attacks can now be more aggressive. The new power units have to last longer too. We used to have eight engines for the entire season. Now we only have five complete power units. Shall we give the first engine a tickle? Heck yeah.